A group of people staged a protest rally in Mongolia's capital Ulaanbaatar on Tuesday amid Russian President Vladimir Putin's visit to the country. The protesters gathered outside of the government palace in the capital, holding Ukrainian flags and chanting the slogans, Get away, or criminal Putin out of here. The protest was held amid the Mongolian government's refusal to arrest Putin on an international warrant for war crimes committed in Ukraine. The small-scale protest was later dispersed by law enforcers. It should be noted that Mongolia is a member of the International Criminal Court, which issued an arrest warrant against Putin over war crimes in Ukraine. The court alleges that Russian leader Vladimir Putin failed to stop the unlawful deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia since the conflict began over two years ago. Prior to the visit, Ukraine urged Mongolia to arrest Vladimir Putin. However, the Kremlin said it had no worries about the visit. Убийцы, уби... Хорошо, что ты не хочешь, чтобы ты не хочешь, чтобы ты Russian officials are actively seeking new soldiers in homeless shelters across Siberia and the Far East. In this way, Moscow is trying to meet its needs, which have grown due to the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region, sources of the Radio Liberty project, Siberia.Realities, report. According to the volunteers and workers at homeless shelters, the recruitment campaign happens from time to time. In particular, a volunteer at a shelter in the suburbs of Angarsk, an industrial city in the Irkutsk region noted that in 2023, recruiters came to us almost every month with leaflets that urged people to sign contracts. Of course, these fools were tempted by the contract salary, he said, referring to the homeless residents of the shelter. The publication noted that the ad, which was posted on the website of a rural administration in the Irkutsk region, offers healthy adult men a one-time payment of 400,000 rubles or $4,388 as well as monthly payments of 210,000 rubles or $2,304 and other benefits. If the contract is extended for more than one year, it brings an additional bonus of 195,000 rubles or $2,139. At the same time, a volunteer at a shelter in the suburbs of Angarsk says that the homeless 
do not fully understand that they are gambling with their lives. They believe that you can return from war. And they don't understand that apart from the first guys who signed six-month contracts in 2022, no one returned alive, she stressed. Another volunteer at the homeless shelter told reporters that of the more than 50 homeless men who have disappeared from the shelter since the summer of 2022, only two have returned, both without money. The rest, God willing, they get stuck on the way to the war, drinking away their earnings. Most likely they are already dead, the woman said. In turn, a volunteer at another shelter noted that a former resident of the institution called and said that out of his company, which consisted of 50 people, only he and one other soldier survived. According to the homeless man, after he refused to be cannon fodder, he was thrown into a penalty pit, an improvised prison for soldiers in basements or holes in the ground.